Excuse me. Your own name? Isaac. Isaac, what? A four kibe. You are the one of 30 years old. How old are you? 30. 30? Yes, sir. Year old. Where are you from? Delta State. Delta State. Yes. What's your own name? Adim Kola Kolapo. Adim Kola Kolapo. How old are you? 27. 27. Where are you from? Ibadan. This is your girl. What are you? Pardon? Nedom Son to Chuku. Okay, where are you from? Anumbra State. Anumbra State. You know why you are here? You know why you are here. And you read what the statement I made. So what's your what's your involvement in that? Please come forward. Uh, okay. Okay. Come forward. Stay here, stay here. Okay. So according to what they read, they say uh, Do you have any link with this lover? Yeah, I do business on, okay. on Instagram. So this lover too does business on Instagram. So this lover has a lot of vendors and fights against scam. So any I use this lover as a criteria to prevent uh, doing business. You, you use this lover. How do you use this lover? Because when I see a vendor, and the vendor or anybody that is following this lover want to patronize me, I have this uh, clarity that it's not going to scam me or scam my followers. So that is how I came into this lover. Then they said, so what do you do? What do you do online? Job do you I, do online? I, I help people fix their sponsor ads. Mm -hmm. I fix their sponsor ads. They should then help online stores. That are not used. Uh, that are not used to navigation on Instagram. I also help people grow their Instagram page. Have you ever shared any content? Yes, for example. You share. You share. You, you share content on your on your platforms. Yes, on my personal page. I share those those pages. somebody else's no, content or my personal content. You have not shared anybody. No. Somebody. No. no. You have not shared it. No. My personal or any private. I've not shared any defamatory or celebrity or even the said complaint that I've never shared anything concerning her. But you help you you help you help to call um, followers anytime this platform Yes, because we have a lot of shut down. When the page gets down, we have a lot of fake and those fake they still scam people. And due to the nature of my business, I I have to like tell them this is not this is the real one, this is the fake one. So on our way to me that the force is trying to get down the the, the page. Mm -hmm. That is the real chisel. So I have a couple questions for you. Okay, ask. This why. So in, in in your business dealing, do you have direct access to Chisel or wherever Chisel is? No. Okay. And it's so, just online. Okay. So in, in your in your business dealing, have you ever given out any information that led to the defrauding of somebody else? No. I just, what I do is in my business, or if I want to do any business with someone, I can ask, is this person real? Because he has a lot of business people. So it's a kind of me knowing the people I can do business. Even the police. Yeah, I get, I get you now. Yeah, even the you police. Never at time, you. You're sharing many kind of information online led to somebody else being no. defrauded or being robbed by No, no, no. I've not. I just clip them. So, but how come the police do not arrest you there? The police arrested me, came to me, said he wants to do business with me. He said he wants to do business, I should help him arrange his page and all that. And also told me that uh, he saw I'm following Gislova and I'm a good follower, that I should help him contact the Gislova. I told him I'm not, I don't know Gislova and I just do my business online. The police are even arrested me, sent me money, 300k. I refunded the money. Yes, that's, that's okay, that's our own game. We monitored you. We have been on you for the for this matter for the past four, five, or six months. So it's not that we are we are just picking you as a follower, a just lover. We have seen you as an admin on that platform. You have been enjoying goodies from him. Excuse me. You have been enjoying goodies from him, and we we have our information. We just didn't come to you. You are not the only Nigerian that is following this lover. So you have been into this business with him. And you have been enjoying so so many good things. So it's not a day job. We have placed you under surveillance for more than five or six months for you to know. And one of the, the strategies was coming to you to tell you because you seek for for patronage, you seek for sponsor uh, adverts, and you do all sort of things so that you get money. And people patronize you guys. So it's it's not that police just went out to go and pick you. You are just looking for somebody to pick. You have been under surveillance for a very long time, and we went for a target straight. Uh, we have our evidence against you, and you are at liberty 
to raise objections when you get to court. But we are convinced with technology. It is not a mere arrest, not an ordinary arrest. You could see that we went forensic, we adopted forensic strategies to actually pick those we have picked. To so even get you to get everything because you'll be faceless. So we, it was a, a painstaking effort that led to the arrest of you, you suspect we have here. So it's not uh, an accusatorial system of I suspect, I suspect, I suspect. We went forensic and we use our technological uh, assets to get you. Go back to another place. Then Adebu Kuala, aka Omo, Omoba Disloma. So what's your link with Disloma? It's just normal link. Normal link. Well, how, do you, how do you describe anything normal? Normal link? How do you describe normal link? Just we chat on Instagram. You chat? We just. What do you do for him online? Okay. Hmm? You do nothing for him. Okay. Like um, the, what I have here, uh, Debu Kola, uh, Mobadislova, you create, in fact, in fact, the, the, the system gave us that you created 80% of the Dislova pages. Dislova? You see, you see, it is not, we are, we are talking of science here. And we have our system, this is a national cyber crime center. Not the divisional headquarters that arrested you, not an area command office that arrested you. So this is what they do, and this is what they have been trained for. So they know we have what we have. What we have here is you have you have created over eighty percent of the Gislova pages, thereby lending the digital footprint for the perpetration of information care, particularly in the case at at hand. We are not even talking of other cases. I know Nigerians will come up with other cases. We have more than hundred petitions against this cyber, uh, this cyber block alone. I know Nigerians have been coming up. The center has been receiving more complaints, even against those that we have here. We just decided to, to make this one known to Nigerians that against the, the general, the erroneous perception that this lover is just an individual, it's a syndicate, and you know what they do, uh, and you know what they stand for. And so for those who have cases that are still pending, the, the Nigerian police has called on them to come around, to come and uh, reactivate their cases so that they can consolidate what we have. Uh, it's, the message is, no matter what you do, no matter offense or any illegal act you have committed, you can only run. You cannot hide. You can only run, you cannot hide because the, the, the motto and the slogan is forensic uh, investigation or forensic policing is, is that every offense committed leaves a trace. Every offense committed leaves a trace in scientific investigation. And we have actually told the line of using principles of scientific investigation to work on this matter. So it is for Nigerians to know that we are working to make sure that we go after all these people who are causing problem for us, are causing problem for every uh, Nigerian. We so far so good people have come up to still testify, and they have come up with other complaints on this particular uh, block. Many cases are still on. Like I said, it's in the news that police have arrested some in Lagos. They have arrested many in Abuja. Not this is not the first case, and the center is basically established to make sure we protect our cyberspace in this country and even beyond the shores of this country. Uh, that is Omobaji Slava. That is your nickname. For, for, for even to have such a nickname, it goes a long way. Uh, your name is your anchor. That's what they say as in the proverb. So your, your name is your anchor. Uh, so you to even have a name. I'm not the one with, with, is it material for somebody to have Christian do Omoba? No, uh, if they call you Omoba, I mean, did you be with me? You are so close. To me, what did you be to the extent that we do things together with them and want together we do business together? For for us to know, we are just showing this for Nigerians to know that we just didn't base we didn't base our investigation on just mere speculations or just following you online. It's scientific and we have a credible uh, evidence to prosecute you. So when you get to court your liberty to raise the matter or raise any objection, you are liberty to get your lawyers and come for your defense. But it's just good for you to know that we have not just arrested you based 
on mere speculation or psychological projections. As many Nigerians have been calling me, Nigerians have been sending mails to us, they've been following me, following us on our handles. Uh, we, we have, we have um, gone deep into this case uh, for you to know that we have what we see. I think the center told us we recovered so many things and we got, we recovered some messages and contents, informations, and we, we think we should let Nigerians know. Uh, many of us, gullibly, we follow some of these bloggers. We are still going to spread our tentacles to pick those who sponsor some of these uh, destructive blogs that are causing problems. It's a crime in Nigeria to do cyber stalking. Then they go back. The uh, ISIC. ISIC case is the same case, uh, and there's no ignorance in law. Uh, he creates fake pages to imitate this lover to cut clues and get money too. So whatever it is, uh, it's still the same uh, family. You can't spell she without e. You can't spell woman without man. All of them are connected and they work together. So he's been enjoying the brand, that name. People have paid to him, he has enjoyed it and he's getting cool money from this business. But this business is criminal. And I can say this, I can repeat it again that he's a criminal. And that's why we place him under surveillance too. We see how many that we have not beat. We are still watching them because I, I can say for now we have like almost notified or identified almost 12 uh, at me who are strong members of this syndicate. So it is not just an individual. And you say, do you know this lover? It's not that this lover that you see an individual. It's a syndicate. Find they can have a coordinator and we are still working on that. We have further information we don't want to reveal at this stage so that it will not jeopardize our investigation. But we are strong enough and we are committed. We are focused to make sure we unravel everything concerning this particular criminal activity in Nigeria. So I see. Sir. What's your involvement? Say it yourself. Let them hear from you. Okay. I create a fit page and to... Please move it. It's closer to me. Okay. No. I said you move close to me. I'm your brother. Move close okay. to me. Okay. I create the uh, fake page just to... Can you put that? Just to... Uh, to post imitate. traffic. To no, cause traffic. Yeah. To one of my other blogs. But you use the name this lover. Yeah. Okay. And you actually get traffic. For him or for yourself? I get traffic on the page just to transfer to my other blogs. To my other blog. So what have you gained so far from this business? Traffic. Traffic. What does traffic get me traffic? What does what is what's what's the benefit? I what do you gain from having many many traffic? The engagement and the you, they pay you. You make money? I haven't started making money. You've not been making money, but you have this traffic already. Yeah. That the money will still come. The money will still come. You are sure the money will still come? Because, uh, most of the followers know it's not the real page, so they don't patronize. So they, they go to but you are, you, you, are, you are generating these fake pages to get traffic. And you actually been getting traffic. Yeah. Based on our own record, you are getting that traffic. Yeah. And you are getting this traffic for a purpose. Yes. Yes. And we all know that getting traffic online is actually for you to have monetary gains from the owners of this platform. So you don't confuse people, you don't mislead Nigerians that it's just for you. You can't tell me you are making uh, traffic uh, just for making crews or just for uh, catching form. It's for a business because all of you have taken this as a business. You have your platform registered, you have your content and everything, and you are doing this to for a particular purpose. And we all know, you have traffic, and you have traffic, you make money. But all these things are illegal, and they're criminal. As Nigerians, and I encourage Nigerians to always read some of these our law books. These laws are not restricted. These books are not restricted document. If you read, it's going to guide you. So you can only appeal to people, appeal to parents, our guardians, and our fellow Nigerians to always take note of things like this. And we always say copy and paste, in most cases, is an offense too under the Cybercrime Prohibition Act of 2015. So you must be very, very careful when you want to do anything on social media so that you don't run foul of the law. So these are the people we have. And to go back. The doctor, doctor, are you a medical doctor? I was once a medical student. 
You are once a medical student, but you are a dropout. Yes, oh, dropout. Well, when did you gain admission to, to which school? University of Patankas. University of? Patankas. Which year? 2017. 2017. So when did you drop out? 2019. 2019. You spent almost two years in this school. Yes, sir. Why did you drop out? Advice to withdraw what? No. Why? Um, because of financial crisis. Financial crisis. So why did you venture into this business you are doing? Sir, I, I did not obtain any 20 million naira to anyone. Anita, the person, was my girlfriend. And I asked for financial help, which is the total money was 3 million 600. And I have never done any hacking or anything, transaction. I've never transferred any money from her before. Mm -hmm. I, what about the 20 million? There's nothing like that, sir. There's nothing like that. Apart from the 3 million 600, which I'm very sure, I've never. Nothing Have like you refunded the 3 million plus? No, sir. Do you still talk to Anita now? Are you still friends? The last time before she left, I think I was hearing the petition was 12 million, and I'm even surprised hearing 20 something million right here. Okay, what about the issue of uh, medical doctor stuff, impersonation? Okay, sir. I saw your pictures, you are putting on. Uh, is it a problem? The one they use the for lab theater? Code, the lab coats. The, the lab coats, the lab coats are the theater lab and everything. Yes, I sir. actually saw you trying to join some doctors to carry out operations. Yes, sir. Like what I said yesterday, uh, I was once a medical student. And in, that's what they call, after they go for the award right, and we go for a posting, clinic posting. Then in that clinic posting, you have privilege to approach any of the senior colleagues, maybe they have a... Um, a surgery case to handle. Mm -hmm. You are six. So okay, just want to have the experience to assist in the theater. You are not permitted to touch the patient. You are not permitted to manage the case. Just to observe. Just to observe. Then when you are observing, you are permitted to have some pictures with them in case. You you, you became a dropout twenty nineteen. But there are pictures that you took after twenty nineteen. Why why that one again? How come? No sir. As I, a dropout, do you still have the grace? Under your professional conduct to still visit uh, labs or theaters? Sorry, sir. Since then, I have never, because I was using a Samsung before I, I got the iPhone. I transferred the picture from my Samsung. So the date is showing the day I transferred the, the picture from my Samsung to the <laughs> Anyway, we have got our own information and we have done our analysis too. Everything we do now in some of these are cases are forensic investigation. And that's the best way we can go in this, in this country. And as you see, like I told you, we cannot trace this ID in any of our databases. Either from NIPSI or from any database, we cannot get it. So it's another thing that we are looking into. It's another dimension. Because we expect every Nigerian to have his identity, either from NIPSI or from EWA, whatever it is. We have been tracing his identity as an engineer. We cannot see any. So this speaks volume. And it's a challenge to us in security business to still do more. So we are trying to work with NIPSI to see what we can do in this area as well. So that we know that every Nigerian is adequately identifiable. And we can trace you with your ID, either with your number or whatever identity uh, you can have as a Nigerian. This one does not have any. And, and that's why we have been able to trace to an extent that we have established some links we have with some foreign, uh, foreign partners. We are still working on the aspect of the organ harvest. It's another critical thing. These are the allegations we have. We are working on them. But for now, we have all these cases against him. We still continue with our investigation. But the call to Nigerians is that see his face. If you come across with him, contact us. Let us get more information from you. We still need more information. Can you let them see? Because Nigerians must see you so that we will not be out again or whatever. Uh, and you still go out to be claimed that you are a doctor. You have two names. You are Dr. Ovie, Dr. Ovie something, and Dr. Henry. You use, you use two names or three names. So that's another thing. We need to take note of that. So we, we, we have this case at hand. We are investigating the case. Even if it's charged to court, we'll continue uh, carry on with our investigation to make sure we, 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 we unravel this case holistically. Uh, so he's not a medical doctor. So some of you that you have met him, that you have, let them see your face. Is he, are you area or V? Which one should I call you? Hmm. Doctor. I'm Gibbs, hmm? sir. 
You are gift. Yes, how early again? How come about early? You have many ID cards. No, sir. We have recovered. Have we, we recovered so many documents from you and bearing different different names. So what are we now saying again? So I think I think we are going. We are doing more. The IGP has ordered the first ID to do more and deep uh, and dig deep into this case so that I can get so many other things. I know we are still coming back to do a follow up press briefing on his his case because it's very sensitive. And it's very, very crucial. We can't end his own case now because there are so many things. Uh, identity theft is there, uh, cyber crime is there, and uh, impersonation is there. Alleged organ trafficking is there. These are very, very, very heavy, heavy, heavy allegations and crimes that we need to look into so that we can learn from all these things and serve as deterrence to some of them who are thinking of venturing into such a business. There's no crime that is lucrative. A crime is a crime and there's no other name you want to call it. Even if it's lucrative now, you are enjoying the goodies now, you are going to meet your Waterloo. There's no way you want to do it. For every offense you have committed, you can only run. You cannot hide. You are going to get you. And gentlemen of the press has a message. And um, this brother will not come out and, and report. You know, he's, he's, he has many, he or she has many cases and he doesn't want to even do anything with the with the police or any security agencies. Because they know, he knows, or he or she knows, that they are looking for him or so him or her. Is a of course. Okay. Right. It's a wanted fellow. Because there are so many petitions against this lover. But these are just the agents who work for him. Not followers. That's why I'm, I'm laying emphasis on that. Nigerians believe that they are followers. You can follow anybody. It's not a crime to follow anybody. Even if you follow... If you don't share content, it is not an offense. But even if you follow and you share content carelessly, content you should not share, you are still violating the law. They can still pick you. So let's educate Nigerians again that as a follower, don't just follow a particular platform and continue to share what they share. And be mindful of comments you drop on pages. Let people go and read in and out, A to Z. Of the Cyber Crime Prohibition Act of 2015. The Lord is there. The Nigeria Police National Cyber Crime Commission Center unveils threat actors behind complex cyber talking and blackmailing block, arrests three and recovers 12 accounts. As the IGP reaffirms police commitment to ensuring improved digital physical safety. In an onward fight against the menace of cyber talking, threat to life, and blackmailing schemes operating in the guise of micro-blogging pages and contending with the online safety of many, the Nigeria Police Force National Cyber Crime Center, acting on a petition at the instance of Honorable and Dr. Mrs. Shaye Oladejo have arrested three in connection with a case of conspiracy, cyber stalking, and threats to life. The suspects, namely Adebu Kola Kolapo, Nedum Michael Sultan Chuku, and Isaac Akpogi Akpogi, all male of ages 27, 25 and 30 years respectively, are members of a syndicate called Jis Lover Family. Responsible for the daily running of the Jis Lover Block, a micro-blogging platform known for cyber talking, incitement, blackmail, and sundry, which has over the years been a cause for public outcry. Upon arrest, the suspects revealed their various degrees of involvement in the conspiracy, collaboration, collaborating the already available overwhelming evidences. The first suspect, Adebu Kola Kolako, aka Omobadis Lover, was responsible for the creation of over 80% of the Jis Lover pages thereby lending his digital footprint for the perpetration of the aforementioned criminal acts. 
being on the payroll of the said platform and having enjoyed incentives like car gifts and monies, Adebukola was saddled with the responsibility of scouting, editing, and capturing content, including the cyber stalking post made against the complainant, Honorable and Dr. Mrs. Olusheyi Oladejo, and many other Nigerians. Adebukola has also contributed in laundering monies gotten from the legal scheme to various means. In more development, digital forensic analysis led to the recovery of eight GIST lover pages created on the instruction of the head of the syndicate by Adebukola and wallet addresses used in laundering this money. The second suspect, one Nedu Sotochuku, also shared in the conspiracy wherein at every point the page was taken down for certain infractions and violation of policies at the instance of reports from law enforcement agencies, the suspect using his platform will by all means redirect traffic to the new page, helping the blog to evade sanctions. And join incentives like referrals for promotions from the head of the syndicate. Nedum has also been found sharing content, feedbacks, and making defamatory remarks with the said head of the syndicate. The third suspect, Isaac Akpogi, a 30-year-old resident of Igando, Lagos State, unlike the, dro unlike the draw above, is like hundreds of Nigerians whom having observed the lucrative nature of the blackmailing, cyber stalking, and false information market, decides to imitate the Gist Lover blog. By so doing, he created several of such pages and mirrors the activities of the blog, including reposting the defamatory and life-threatening post against the complainant and many other notable Nigerians. Digital forensics led to the recovery of four these lover pages created by Isaac Apogur. The suspects will be charged to court upon the conclusion of this investigation. Why strongly warning again all sorts of partnership that promote the illegal activities of this blog and others engaging in similar activities, the Inspector General of Police of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, IGP Ulukayode, Adi Oluegbeto PhD NPM, applauds the Nigeria Police Force National Cyber Crime Center under the leadership of CP Uche Ifai Henry as he affirms the commitment of the force to ensuring the safety of citizens in the physical and digital space. We want to retrace again that contrary to the general perception we have in this country, that that particular blog, this other blog is being manned or managed by individual. Our investigations have revealed that it's a syndicate comprising many individuals out of then we have arrested three. We are still spending our tentacles to arrest others who belong to this syndicate. We all know that cyber stalking, cyber bullying, misinformation, disinformation, or malinformation, or spread of fake news is an offense in Nigeria. All these are contrary to the provisions of the Nigerian law, our extant laws, particularly Cybercrime Prohibited Prohibition Act 2015. And let me say again, to clear some doubts, these individuals we have arrested, we have credible evidence to show that they are agents or admins belonging to this particular block not followers 
as erroneously perceived or seen by Nigerians. We have been following the trend on this particular case. I want to state without missing words that the police will not take issues like this lightly. We continue to enforce our laws to make sure we dominate and protect our cyberspace in this country. We say no to cyber stalking. We say no to cyber bullying, misinformation, and spread of fake news. This case is one of many cases that the Nigerian police force is specially handling. We have other cases, similar cases of cyber bullying, cyber stalking, being handled by various formations and commands across the country. We have some cases with the RGP monitoring units. We have some cases with the First Criminal Investigation Department. We have some cases with the Department of False Intelligence. And of course, many other cases from this same center, Nigeria Police National Cybercrime Center domiciled in Abuja here. We'll continue to try our best possible to make sure we go after these perpetrators who have tendencies of causing chaos, bruhaha, in Nigeria, and of course, painting Nigerian government, our nation, black. This is not going to be allowed, and we are going to take the bull by the horn to make sure we hunt them and cause them to face the full rods of the law. In a similar development, I want to discuss the case again, a case involving a particular suspect who has been fingered in criminal conspiracy, alleged organ trafficking, fraud, cybercrime, theft, impersonation, deceit, cheating, and identity theft. Involving one suspect, Igwe Gift, Okechukume, many attempts have been recovered from him. I want to inform you today that officers and men of the First Criminal Investigation Department, the First CID in Abuja, have successfully apprehended an individual suspected to be involved in a multifaceted criminal case. Today, we present the case of one Igwe Gift, Okechuku male, involved in criminal conspiracy, alleged organ trafficking, fraud, cybercrime, stealing, impersonation, deceit, cheating, and identity theft that was reported at the first criminal investigation department Abuja by one Anita Chingwe Matthias, female. The complainant stated that she's a POS operator with several POS branches in Oweri, and that on the fateful day, she came in contact with the suspect. She went to a shopping mall in Oweri to get some personal effects where the suspect introduced himself to her as Dr. Henry Ovier, a neurologist newly transferred from Poracourt to Federal Medical Center, Oweri, in Nemo State. She stated further that Igwe, that is a suspect, collected her number and established a close relationship with her. He told her that he was expecting some money and that he would love to make use of her POS to collect the money. The suspect then sent the sum of 5 million 500,000 naira to her account, which made her believe that the suspect has a genuine source of income. She proceeded to state that on 11 September 2023, the suspect tricked her to enter a code on a POS machine, which she did due to the trust she had for him. After the suspect left her place, she noticed that all the money in her POS account has been withdrawn, which amounted to the sum of 21 million naira. And all efforts to reach out to the suspect proved her body. She also went to the Federal Medical Center where the suspect claimed to be working, to ask about him, but she was told that none 
of their doctors bears such a name. Immediately, she reported the case to the first criminal investigation department in Abuja. And officers of this department swung into action to arrest the suspect. During the course of investigation, the officers discovered that the suspect had changed his phone number, locating from Owerri, in Imo State to Lafia in Nasarawa State, where he rented and furnished an apartment. He was later arrested after rigorous intelligence work by these detectives. Further investigations revealed that the suspect goes by different names, such as Igwe Richard, Ovie, Henry, with multiple phone numbers and emails that he uses to perpetuate his heinous acts. Investigation also unraveled that the suspect's identity was not documented on the National Identity Management Commission portal, neither was his information in any Nigeria information database. Upon his, his arrest, it was discovered that the said Igwe was also involved and alleged, allegedly involved in organ trafficking and that he has a contact in Toronto, Canada, with whom he engages in the trade of human organs. The Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayo the Adi Olegbetuko PAD NPM, has reiterated that the arrest on the course, the commitment and dedication of the force to combating crimes and criminality and also ensuring the safety and security of all of us in our various communities. The IGP has also assured Nigerians that an extensive investigation is ongoing and every other perpetrator involved in this act will be brought to book and be charged to court. The police will continue with investigation and of course, even while the suspect is charged to court. I want to call all Nigerians to take note of this. I want to appeal to Nigerians for whoever that has come in contact with this particular suspect to come forward to the first criminal investigation department, Abuja, or our annex office, or any nearest police station of permission to them to report this similar case and inform the police accordingly. You can get across to us on all our social media platforms. You can send email to us, and you can call the first PRO or any public relations officer across the country to lodge your complaint. So we're calling all Nigerians to please, if you have seen the face of uh, Dr. <coughs> Ovie Henry or Dr. Igwe Richard, whatever name he must have given to you, we want the name to be shown so that Nigerians will know. Please come forward for to lodge your complaints so that the police can harmonize and consolidate all these cases to form a very robust investigation and possibly uh, prosecute him uh, as urgent as possible. We want to reassure Nigerians that we will not relent on the effort to making sure that we decimate activities of some of these criminally minded individuals who cause pains, sorrows, agonies to our innocent Nigerians and to those who reside in this country. Our efforts to make sure that Nigeria is safer and we have more secure environment and of course to be on the same page of assisting the federal government to have quick economic recovery, social integration and political development in Nigeria is a reality and not a Tea Party thing in Nigeria. I want to assure you once again that please, we want you to work with the police, share intelligence with us, give us very reliable information. We can assure you, I'm going to work on your information and make your identity a confidential thing. We want all Nigerians to see working with the police as a civil responsibility not just say we against them, or we are just giving help to the police. It's our collective responsibility to work together and share information with the police and other security agencies. Let us see it as a civic responsibility. To have a very safe Nigeria, more secured Nigeria, is a collective responsibility of all of us. From the office of the IGP, 
We want to assure you once again that this new year, we're going to make sure we testify our efforts in making sure we do proper policing, we engage in effective and electronic policing to reduce crimes and criminality to their barest minimum in this year, 2024. Thank you.